So down here in Dartmouth, we've got uh, the Wellcraft. We've got quite a few of the Wellcrafts here, actually. The full full range uh, of boats are here at our Dartmouth office. Uh, this is a 242, so it has a single engine on it. Um, a little bit smaller than the 262, um, but a lovely package and really nice with this grey hull. So powered with a 300 V6 4.2 litre engine. That's a new engine from Yamaha. Um, we've got these clever steps that fold away and slide into the transom to get on board. This one's got a T-top. You can have them without a T-top, but usually we order them with T-tops um, for, for stock boats. Um, then we can put the stereo system on board and it gives you a little bit more cover uh, when you're on board the boat driving position. Um, let's have a look Coming on up onto the bathing platform at the back here, we've got loads of space. You can actually walk through to the rear section on the port side as well as the starboard side. We've got the sink in here with a water tap, fresh water tap, and that can double up as a uh, bait well as well. You've got a shower at the back here, fresh water in, these lovely stainless lift-up pleats. Uh, we've got this carpet, this is like a water uh, proof carpet, well it's not waterproof, it's, uh, it does get wet but it's a weatherproof carpet that unclips all the way around. And we've got a bait well in here as well, uh, nice padded edges to it and they're really high up as well so you feel like you're in the boat rather than on top of the boat. Um, coming forward we've got this large bow cockpit area with a table that goes in here, sun pad, infill so you can sunbathe up here or just sit around and entertain. Oh, there's our steam train that we were talking about earlier. Making our way back up to Painton. So coming to the front of the cockpit uh, console, we've got this hidden little toilet in here. Now this canvas unzips for privacy, but if you look behind, we've got storage. And then behind these cushions, you can see we've got a toilet there as well. So inside this step back and zoom out inside this area here you've got a, a private toilet so the boat does actually have you know quite a lot to offer uh, a lot of boats this size won't have any kind of loo um, or heads whatsoever tucked away nicely behind the steering console like so it's an electric anchor windlass the cushions aren't out here but it's got all the cushions in this white weatherproof canvas coming down the side here we've got lots of rod holders got a seat up here and lean post fly by wire control so yamaha uh, adjustable steering wheel uh, nice large display here and it's really nicely under cover with this big t-top got a storage up there got a stereo system here has got lights and all sorts of courtesy leds around the cockpit area and at the back here it's all self-draining decks so you've got a seat that pops out as well so it's a really nice option for anybody that's getting into boating and wants a decent offshore sea capable boat um, this boat has a deep v throughout it's not like your your regular fiberglass boats like Quicksilver and things like that. This is designed for the Atlantic and not for lakes. So um, this boat really will go anywhere in anything. If you want some more information, then give us a call at the Dartmouth office or at the Plymouth office and you come down and have a look. Um, we've got the 262 down in the water just over here, which you can uh, come and have a demo on. It's slightly bigger than this one, twin engine, twin 200s on it. Um, that gives you an idea of the feel of the boat. Many thanks for watching.